What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. You didn't think that I would let the holidays get away without doing an eggnog for you, did you? But you know, what I thought would be kind of fun would be to show you some of the eggnogs that my friends do. Now, this one has an awesome story behind it, and so it's gonna be a little bit talky. I apologize for that, and it's a whole, as you can see, it's kind of like a whole process to make this particular eggnog. Uh, so this is my friend Dave Schlachtenhoffens. Yes, that's his real name. Uh, eggnog. He does this eggnog every single year and Dave is an acting friend of mine. We were actually in a movie together called Strange, which you saw a clip of me. But since I, and I might have shown you a little clip of Dave last time, but just to jog your memory, let's just take a look at the clip. That's Hank. He was a fighter pilot during the second Iraq invasion. Now he's a detail man for a big pharmaceutical company. He only works about 10 to 15 hours a week when he works at all. And he still has the best sales record in the country. All right, so that's Dave. And that's actually kind of an accurate depiction of how I think about Dave, what I think about him in my mind. Anyway, Dave not only was an acting friend of mine that I met in acting school, but he was, if he is a, not was, well, he actually was because he quit. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, but he is uh, a fantastic bartender friend of mine. He worked at some really great bars. And then he had to move to Denver, Colorado, away from us here in LA, which made me very sad. He went to go uh, work at the uh, Brown, uh, Brown Palace Hotel, I think it was, in Denver. Uh, he was running the bar programs over there. And now he quit to become a physical therapist. I'm pausing for cricket sounds. Uh, that made me very sad because it was a big blow to the uh, cocktail world. He is a fantastic bartender. And what's gonna great about Dave is that he was a guy that didn't actually go work in a cocktail bar. He was working uh, in LA, he was working for a Wolfgang uh, Puck restaurant called Cut. And he was instrumental in really helping raise up the cocktail program there. He is basically a self-taught bartender. I'm like a self-taught cocktail guy. And he is definitely better at it than I am for by a long shot. So cut to Christmas. Dave and I have our own um, eggnog recipes. I showed mine last year. If you want to see it, just click the link above. I actually would think it was more than a year ago. It was more than last year, it was like two years ago, wasn't it? It was about two years ago. Anyway, I did a one-off uh, eggnog recipe because I didn't, th because I thought that maybe you guys didn't want to make like a full batch. Then last year, we did the full batch recipe of my eggnog. Well, today I'm gonna be doing a one-off eggnog of Dave's. I call it Dave's Fantastic Eggnog. And it's a bit of a process as you will see. Uh, Dave and I had sort of a little nog off of like who's, just like a friendly competition, like whose uh, eggnog was better. Uh, than the other and Dave would have an eggnog party every year. He's actually having his this year on December 14th, I believe in Denver and I can't go. I'm very sad about that. Uh, I did forget something in true bar fly fashion. Can you tell me what it is? Do you know? I know. Do you know? What did I forget? You don't know the recipe, so you wouldn't know. Let me just get it. Bam! The highly hotly contested um, nutmeg. There, clean it up. Uh, we need a nutmeg garnish for the end of this episode. Uh, I think I'm gonna just leave that in. Normally I'd be like, you know what? Let's restart and let's do this again. But today I think I'm just gonna go for it. All right, so you see that we have two tins here. This is how you make this drink. No kidding. So let's crack our egg, okay? And we wanna put the egg white into this tin. You wanna make sure that you just get the white in there all of the white. Okay, and then the egg yolk goes in the other tin. Then we're gonna discard. In the egg white tin, we are going to do two ounces of whole milk. Drop that into the egg white tin, and we're gonna give it a nice shake. We're basically frothing the milk and emulsifying this lovely egg white. All right, 30 seconds should do it. There we go. We'll set this aside for a second. Then in this tin, we are going to do one tablespoon of super fine sugar. I like to do a heaping tablespoon. Give it a little mix. Kind of combine the egg yolk with the sugar. the 
this aside. We're gonna do an ounce and a half of Navy Strength Rum. We're using Pooster's today. We're gonna do half an ounce of Cognac. You can use the Pierre Ferrand 1840. I'm using the uh, Hein. And then a quarter of an ounce of Amontillado Sherry. Which what I like about this recipe already is that it is a very historic sort of recipe. Then we are going to add our milk solution in here. Milk and egg solution. And we're gonna give it another shake to emulsify, dry shake to emulsify it all, and combine it all together. All right, that should do. Oh, sprayed me in the face. <laughs> then we're gonna take a big rock of ice, drop it in our tin, and give it another shake. Now Dave has this really awesome shake that he does that's sort of like, it's like a train going off. He goes slow, and then he goes fast. And he does it with one hand. But as you, Dave is really, really tall, so he, he does it like, I don't know if I could do that. It's like, it's too much arm strength for me. Then a nice shake. Now you wanna do it with a big rock of ice because it's gonna give you superior texture and not a ton of dilution. And then, oh. Now he does it in a rocks glass. I like to do this like footed rocks glass. It's just very nice, festive glass. And we are going to It in there and then we have some heavy cream okay i'm like panting because it was like so much effort with that big rock of ice uh some heavy cream that's been pre um it's been pre-sweetened with a little bit of simple syrup and it has a coil in it and we're just going to do that nice coil technique where we whip it where we whip it and to like that it's like you don't want to do it till it's too hard but it's just so that it's like semi-hard there you go you want to be able to set a bead of it. Well, that didn't actually set as a bead, did it? No, maybe a little more, hold on. There, you want it to like kind of set as a bead on your finger. You were, I was too fast, huh? You want me to get it for you? You want to get it? Sure, yeah. show the people. And it sets up, just like sort of, oh. probably Jehovah's Witnesses. Anyway, we're gonna layer this on top. Now, now Lily's gonna start whining too. Ooh, I was being a little, I was being a little messy there. And then, are you ready for it? A nice little sprinkle of nutmeg. Grate it on top. Not dropping the nutmeg, by the way. All right, let's taste it. All right, let's see. Let's see how this stacks up to Leandro's eggnog. You ready? Ooh, that is fantastic. Oh, Dave, you shouldn't have. It's so good. Mmm. What I love about it is that, okay, so admittedly, I'm obsessed with overproof spirits. So my one-off has got Smith & Cross, it has overproof bourbon. Now I think I did Smith & Cross and Old Grandad, 100 proof bonded, it's got a real bitey. This is really mellow and smooth, but it is super alcoholic. It has this Navy Strength rum in it, but it's mellowed out by the cognac and that little bit of Amontillado Sherry, which gives it a nice nuttiness to it. I would say that this is actually closer to the historic recipe than what I do. Uh, and it is absolutely, it is absolutely satisfying. What I love about this eggnog is that I don't have to like it better than my own because they're two different things. They both stand alone. And I know that just seems like, oh yeah, you're just saying that because you don't wanna say that this eggnog is better than your eggnog. It is just so different from my eggnog that I don't have to. If it were better than my eggnog, 
then I would say that it was better than my eggnog. And if my eggnog was better, I would say that too. But the thing is, is that it's just different. It's just a different style of eggnog and it is absolutely wonderful. So I hope that you guys take the time to make this eggnog this holiday season. You will not be uh, disappointed with it at all. So there it is, Dave's Fantastic Eggnog. And that's, I just decided that was the name of it, by the way. Mm. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash educatedbarfly. We have an apron sponsor named Staggerly Goods. You can find them at staggerlygoods.com and they have a discount code going through the end of the year, uh, which is SLG save 30 at checkout for 30% off your order. And then also we've got uh, Surfside Sips is a sponsor of ours as well. They hook us up with these beautiful high impact glass straws. Everyone that has ordered them has loved them. And we have a we have a 20% discount code barfly at checkout for 20% off. I will see you guys on another time.